I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is just after 9 o'clock on the 8th of May 2018. A little update on those disbursements, may or may not be getting them, it all depends on the way the judges worded the decision. It appears that I may not be getting granted them, 164 bucks I really don't give a buck either way, but um, we'll see how that goes. What's that going to do the price of gas? Let's have a fucking look, shall we? Unbelievable. It has gone up again. It is now another two cents dearer this week. The price of gas is... Let's have a look, see, shall we? It is $2.24 for 95, $2.13 for 91, and diesel at a buck 41. That's got to be the highest I've seen it in the last year and a half. I can always go back and check. I've been recording now for almost... Oh, say four or five years now, so we've got a good uh, good record of what they were. So yeah, until next week, catch you then. Um, hopefully, I can get this stupid bloody camera back in its mouth. Well, there we go. So until next week, catch you then. Nothing new to eventuate. Got some interesting census stuff coming up soon um, for all those that are interested in looking. Um, yeah, I basically uh, asked the census or stats NZ for the obligation to vote. Uh, obligation, sorry, to uh, to complete the census form. And they used the threat of uh, you'll be prosecuted. So I asked them of uh, the last cycle, which is 2013, how many people didn't re complete the census, and of those, how many were prosecuted and convicted. Turns out that of the 4,242,048 people in population of the census in 2013, 15th of March, that there was a 92.9 response rate to the census, which basically means that there were 301,108 people that didn't, or 100, sorry, 301,168 people that weren't or didn't complete the census, which equates to, you know, give or take, 0.03% um, um, of the population um, now, oh, sorry, which equates sorry, to about 7% of the population. So, what that tells me then is of those 301,000 people that weren't or didn't reply or respond, 99 people, a whole 0.03% of those people, 99 people were had charges brought up against them, they were prosecuted. Of that, 47 or 46 of those were um, convicted, uh, 37, or sorry, yeah, 46, 37 of those 46 people um, were fined, and two of those 36 people or 37 people were fined the maximum of $500. The other 53 people, which is more than 50% of the ones that we've had prosecutions brought against them, were not convicted, um, which means a 0.015% actually were convicted of the entire population, which is just staggering. Oh, sorry, of the 301,000 people, that's not the population, it would be a far, far infinitesimal amount in that case. So yeah, bit of number crunching there, um, I did a Freedom of Information Act request to the stats, or to census, and today was the last day of the 20 working days they had to respond, and sure enough I got my response. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing a video up on that soon. You guys can all have a watch and see what you think. But much like registering to vote,
they used the threat of prosecution and yet 47 people out of 301,168 people <laughs> doesn't seem like a lot of people are getting prosecuted because you have to knowingly or willingly or neglectfully or refuse myself I'm not refusing anything I'm giving a conditional acceptance provided I can establish the obligation um, that's not refusing anything and it's certainly not neglecting anything when I can show the paperwork and trails that I've spent trying to figure it out anyway till next week enough of my babble see you all then bye Whisper in the sun.